Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular BD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this whole uh, side length uh, AC is uh, 8 uh, units and moreover uh, this uh, angle uh, DCB is uh, alpha this angle uh, DAB is uh, 2 times alpha and finally this angle uh, ABD is uh, alpha and keep in mind that these angles this angle and this angle are uh, 90 degrees and now our task is uh, to find the length uh, of all these uh, sides this side this side uh, this side uh, this uh, segment and uh, this uh, segment as well please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step the very first step we are going to do is uh, find the value of this uh, angle uh, alpha and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADB and now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem according to this theorem the sum of three interior angles uh, in a triangle is always uh, 180 degrees therefore inside this triangle uh, ADB this angle is 90 degrees these angles are alpha and uh, 2 alpha and if we add them that is going to be equal to 180 degrees so therefore we can write down uh, alpha plus uh, 2 times uh, alpha plus uh, 90 degrees all these interior angle add up to 180 degrees and now we are going to combine these uh, like terms that is going to give us uh, 3 times uh, alpha plus uh, 90 degrees is going to give us uh, 180 degrees let's subtract uh, 90 degrees uh, from uh, both uh, sides of this uh, equation and we can see this 90 degrees and negative 90 degrees gone so 3 times alpha turns out to be equal to 90 degrees and now i'm going to divide both sides by 3 to isolate uh, alpha so therefore we can see that alpha turns out to be equal to 30 degrees so therefore our angle alpha turns out to be 30 degrees that means uh, this angle alpha is going to be 30 degrees this angle alpha is going to be 30 degrees as well and this is uh, 2 times alpha so this is going to give us uh, 60 degrees and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ABC and here I have copied it down this uh, right triangle ABC over here and just disregard uh, this uh, perpendicular BD and we can see that this is our special 30 60 90 triangle since this angle is uh, 30 degrees this angle is 60 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees and keep in mind that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, AC is uh, 8 units and now let's recall a 30 60 special uh, triangle ABC as you can see over here and here we can see that 30 degrees is our smallest uh, angle so therefore the side opposite to that angle is going to be our smallest leg and likewise uh, this angle is our 90 degrees the biggest angle so the side opposite uh, to that angle is going to be our longest uh, leg which is called uh, the hypotenuse so therefore in such kind of uh, special 30 60 90 triangle the longest uh, leg is twice the smallest uh, leg in other words uh, if the smallest leg is uh, 1 then the longest uh, leg is going to be 2 times that one is going to be 2 and this uh, third leg uh, BC is going to be square root of uh, 3 so therefore in general if uh, this uh, smallest leg is uh, lowercase a then this uh, longest leg the hypotenuse is going to be 2 times uh, a and this uh, third leg is going to be a times uh, square root of uh, 3 and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ABC we can see that this uh, side uh, AC is the longest leg which is called the hypotenuse 
and this side uh, a b is uh, our smallest uh, leg since this is opposite to our uh, smallest angle 30 degrees so therefore according to this rule if this uh, longest leg is uh, 8 units uh, then the smallest leg is going to be half of that one that is going to be 4 uh, units and this uh, third leg is going to be 4 times the uh, square root of uh, 3 unit so therefore our this uh, side uh, a b turns out to be 4 uh, units uh, and this uh, side uh, b c is 4 times square root of 3 and now let's focus once again on this uh, small right triangle uh, a d b and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, triangle a d b is uh, also a 30 60 90 special uh, triangle and now we can see that this uh, side uh, a b is our longest leg the hypotenuse and this side uh, a d is our smallest uh, leg since this is opposite to our this uh, smallest angle uh, 30 degrees so therefore according to 30 60 90 special triangle uh, rule if this uh, longest leg is 4 then the smallest leg is going to be half of that one is going to be 2 units and this uh, third leg uh, BD is going to be 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3 so thus our unknown side lengths uh, AD turns out to be 2 units uh, and this perpendicular BD is uh, 2 times square root of 3 and here's our final step let's focus uh, on this uh, whole uh, side length uh, AC which is uh, 8 units and we know this uh, segment AD is uh, 2 so therefore uh, this uh, remaining segment uh, CD is going to be 8 minus 2 is going to give us uh, 6 uh, units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations uh, our angle uh, alpha is uh, 30 degrees and our this side uh, AB is uh, for uh, units our side uh, bc is uh, 4 times uh, square root of 3 units our perpendicular bd is uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 3 our segment uh, ad is uh, 2 units and finally our this uh, side uh, cd is uh, six uh, units and that's our final uh, solution thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye